morning campers. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. How many crans do we have today? One cran. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Two. Two crans. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Uh, so I have some news. Could be deemed bad, could be deemed don't know what to do now or whatever, but we got hit with our first um, what appears to be um, kappa oh. hit. Um, I'll try to put up a picture in there, but basically it shows. I'll just uh, swing around over here on this. Um... This video is only eligible for non-personalized ads because it is set as made for kids. These changes will come into effect over the next few months. These changes will come into effect over the next few months. So basically, they're going to be looking at all of the things on our channel and determining whether or not we have a kids channel. Now, I just talked about this because when I got the email, he's putting that crayon in his mouth. When I got the email, um... I thought we were pretty much in the clear uh -huh. because there's rules that come along with it, but the rules are always like super unclear. But when you go in to the video, um, they ask you like when you're uploading it, if this video is made for kids or not, mm -hmm. like literally right here, it shows, let's see if I can, here, bud. uh, legally required to comply with COPPA, blah, blah, blah. Is this video made for kids? No. But what I did notice was the thumbnail, because you did that one, the thumbnail did have Harrison in it. Yeah. The title didn't have anything to do with kids. No. Nope. So when I reached out to talk to um, the YouTube partner who's responsible for our channel, because of the legal nature of the issue, they can't talk to you through chat. They have to talk to you through email. So they have a trail of it? Even though they can save those. The chats get saved too, but I, I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's because they have a bunch of stuff that they have to put in Probably. with the reply. He's using my mustache cups. Those are for my hot chocolate. Oh, please. Come on, let's get you some water. In a throwaway cup. Yep. Hi. Hi. Hello, Yeah, ready? Good job. I mean, I'm not mad because he's drinking water, but I love those cups. And I can only get them when I stay at hotels. Yeah, actually, I, I do remember that I have them. Because when I use one, I'll use it for a couple days because I rinse it out. Well, there it's a harder plastic cup. Why don't you just get a reusable cup? That has a mustache on it that looks that small. That's perfect. I've been looking at those Yeti cups, mm -hmm. you know, to keep at my, my desk because they stay cold for a little while. And I can use it for like a juice or something like that and not my, yeah. I'm never making the mistake of using my Camelback for, for water or for anything other than water. I don't know if you guys remember, but was it last year or the year before that, I started using that awesome thermos cup that your dad, oh, yeah. that you, that you took from your dad that he got from like the bank or whatever. Mm -hmm. The best thermos cup I think I've ever had, like thermos to like keep it warm. Um, and it was a thermos cup and it was like, it had a little handle and it looked like one of those like coffee cups where it was like a little tubbier on the top and then it like thinned out. And this sucker, I would take my hot chocolate to school with me. And I know that you guys have to remember this because I talked about this all the time, but, um, I would clean it out every day. I'd like run hot water through it and clean it out and then I'd use it the next day and it would keep like, it would keep the hot cocoa hot for hours. I mean hours, you guys. Like five, six hours, it would still be warm. I mean, maybe not burning hot, but it would definitely be warm. And one day I was like, you know, I better clean this. It's been like a month or so. Like I better take it all apart and clean it because I mean, running hot water through it and like just cleaning it quickly that way. I figured I would like remove all the rings. I removed all the rings and stuff and Carrie was like, um, this stinks. It's never getting clean again. And look at how all this cocoa is still up around a ring. And I was like, no. I can't believe that you are admitting that to everybody. I, keeping it real, keeping it real. Well, you sure are. Yeah. Here, look at it. Ugh, just trying to anyway. So yeah, that's kind of um, 
kind of my situation with with those cups and it does sadden me and now he's gonna use every one of my mustache cups but I guess that's okay because I love him. He probably will over time, actually. No! Mm. Sorry. Look at him. Hey. Oh, can I have that back? You gotta go shut that drawer. Look at this. Your mom's gonna be so mad at me for giving it to you. What? Look at this sticker. <gasps> Carrie, I'm saving those for him. Look at sticker. Who is it? It's Buzz. You can't. I can only get those when I go to the doctor. Well, maybe you should start making more appointments for the doctor. Just to get stickers? <sighs> and get your health checked up, huh? Don't fold it. Look at it. It's sticky. <sighs> Literally so frustrated right now. So I want to give you a quick update on what's going on with uh, the YouTube guy. And he couldn't talk to me. On, um, he couldn't talk to me through chat because he had to be able to send me um this email here that's literally everything that he copy and pasted from youtube i i mean it's all like just canned messages canned responses and there's no review process no review process you know what they do they let you send feedback so they can learn from it later now i 100 percent understand that this is all this thing that they're doing is supposed to be good it's supposed to be helping kids and protecting kids and sure i want my child protected just like i want everybody else's child protected yes because i'm not a monster i'm not an animal but don't set up a system like this without these other things in place you know i mean we should be able to have our videos reviewed. And if this is happening to us, I guarantee this has been happening to a bunch of other people. And I bet you this is the same thing that Colleen was talking about in her vlogs the other day. So what's what happens now? Like, mm, how are people supposed to continue to make videos if there's always going to be that worry that everything they do in their video... Um, that even if, like, I understand that there is a process for them to see this. Hey, this might be this, this might be that. But how do you put up a video and know that when you uploaded it, everything was fine, it was all set, and then, what, in six hours later, they say, oh, never mind, this is marked for kids. So no, no revenue, um, nothing like that, because we can't target your ads specifically. <sighs> How are people supposed to do this? How are people supposed to do this every day? You know, like, I love this and we've never considered YouTube a job, but there are a lot of YouTubers out there. This is their job. This is their livelihood, you know, and thankfully we're not there. That's not us, you know, thankfully. But how the heck are people supposed to pay their bills? You know, if they're not gonna let us monetize these things, I mean, what happens to people's enormous internet bills and electricity bills and camera bills? Like, ugh. Okay, I guess I should just end the rant because I'm just going on and on. But I am, like, really upset about this now because our channel met all the, the guidelines. We were covered. We weren't supposed to be affected by this. <clears throat> In order to calm myself down, I'm making some no-bakes for a work function. Well, that's a big, probably, just gonna probably the, that's yeah, overfill that small one. That's what we normally do. I didn't realize, I guess I better get an in-between. Yeah, maybe. This is perfect for cupcakes. This is perfect for small cookies. This is perfect for big cookies. Okay. This is also really good for frosting on top of cupcakes. We probably could use that big one. No, I'll just use a small one. Well, all right, so we're making some no-bakes. Like I said, for a little work function. Um, so before the comments come rolling and no, these aren't for us. Sure, are we gonna have a cookie or two? Well, heck yeah. I'll probably but have ten actually. The next task, I don't know if it's gonna be on this video, but this beast over here, all of my my cereals and such, any kind of snacks that aren't um, more on the healthier side. Ugh. These are gonna be gone. So you're gonna throw the Oreos away? Listen, 
I really don't relish throwing away any kind of food. So it's all about eating it and kind of, um, like eating it better. You know, like not grabbing four Oreos, maybe only grabbing one or two. Seeing if I can do that. But as far as the sugar cereals go, those ones are going. I only ever grab one cookie at a time. Yeah, but how many times do you come grab a cookie? <laughs> exactly, about time. Right, and I am lazy and don't want to make more than one trip. So I'll grab like six Oreos. And after the fourth one, I'll be like, oh, I don't want to waste these two. You know, so anyway. But yeah, so making some cookies. Ooh. Super excited for these because... Um, the ones that we had at Christmas, they didn't have the quick oats in them. I mean, they weren't like terrible or anything. They were good because it was yeah. the same recipe. The oats were just different. So yeah, the oats were just so different. Hard. You know, it felt like an al dente pasta yeah, every once in a while. Al dente. Right. All right, so let's get to it. And there they are. Look at all those no bakes and all that glory. No bakes as far as the eye can see. So we are out here in the kitchen doing stuff. <laughs> Harrison is really hands on today. Why are you so hands on today, Bubba? Da da da. Uh, so Harrison's playing with some kinetic sand. It took us a while for um, for us to tell him that that little tool there is a shovel. And not a fork. Not a fork. He didn't eat any, so we're okay. Right. But he really wants to. Where's your shovel? Show me your shovel. Come on, show me your shovel. He's not going. Why? Do you see him resisting every time I drop him off? Oh, is that you that's doing it? Oh. Come here, bud. Come on. Let's play with that shovel. Ready? Thinking everything was all right. Ba 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 boom. Ba 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 boom. Oh my gosh, he did the funniest thing. Watch this. Sometimes he likes to switch the ball up. That one doesn't have a lot of air in it, son. You want me to help you? How about if I, how about if I just help you? Oh, you want both? Oh, you want me to take both? Okay. It's over here, bud, by the couch. Right there, Swoopy. It's over yeah. here, by the couch. Papa. Good job. Good job, son. You ready? I'm struggling to find the word that I want to use right now because it's not really like a project, but 
Hmm. Well, let me just show you. So, you see Rue over there? Scraping up at the walls and everything. If you guys don't know, Rue is a rescue. We rescued her about two and a half. Oh. Okay. You pinched my arm. Okay. Um, I'm not, I'm, it's okay. Um, you don't know where arm is? Um, look, look in your, look in your toy bin. Look in your toy bin for arm. Let me see arm. Um. Yeah, look, look around for him. He's on the floor, son. You can find him. Yeah. Anyway, so for those of you who don't know, Rue was a rescue. Um, <laughs> one fateful night of playing Pokemon, and about three years later, here we are. But um, now that we have these gates up, it's this constant game every single day of let Rue in, let Rue out, let Rue in, let Rue out. I mean, in another, like, maybe month or so, maybe two months, Harrison really won't be able to go through the gate anymore. And Rue is kind of like learning uh, about the gate you know the little like flap the pet flap she's not gonna do it she likes to push her nose against it yeah i thought she would so it's this constant game of who, whomever is here is in and out in and out rue's gotta eat rue's gotta go pee her bathroom's over there too but they don't I obviously go to the bathroom every five minutes so i don't know if we vlogged about this but Carrie had toyed with putting some cat food out in the um, kitchen again. And did we vlog it? I wasn't sure if we did or not. But Harrison, um, we did vlog it. We did because he <laughs> ate some cat food and people were talking about, you know, somebody talked about their friend taking cat food to school and munching on it when she was little. I read some of those comments. Like they were, burgers. yeah, they were hilarious. But yeah, so obviously from the other day, you guys know. Man, I feel like I'm screwing the segment all up. I'm sorry, guys. It's been kind of up and down here. But point being, like overall point, is that we have to find a new place to put this cat food so that it's literally not every five seconds that the cat's getting up. And why is this a big deal? Well, it's not really a huge deal because, sure, we can get up. But if Harrison's laying on us, we don't get that that often anymore. Yeah. I, for one barely get it because i'm never here so when harrison cops up like cops a squat like up on me or something i don't want to like have to get up after two seconds and go let the cat in or out because i finally get like this cuddly cuddly time with my little boy so any suggestions you guys let me know um just to throw this out there we did talk about maybe like putting at least the cat food like up on a shelf because a lot of people said that cats do like their food out of the way. The vet has told us that. But Rue, Rue likes to bury the food like I was just showing you. And she'll knock it right off. And that's just going to be a huge mess every time. Because it's not like we're going to get like a huge platform to put the food on up there. Because that would just look ridiculous on our wall. So if you guys have any ideas, whew, let me know. Because this thing's kind of driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I say nuts. But anyway, we have regaled our campers with lots of good good content today. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, yes. We're going to pick up the living room a little bit and uh, we got a meal plan to do. We do. Yes, we got to look at what we're going to have for dinner this week, mm -hmm. even though it's, you know, already Sunday night and we should have done that maybe yesterday maybe maybe but we'll be okay but yeah so that's what our night's gonna look like let us know down below what your sunday nights usually look like um <laughs> obviously i'm just gonna throw in there that there's always that anxiety of returning to work the next day <laughs> so that's okay so anyway thanks for hanging out with us today <laughs> we'll catch